Hi guys, this is Monarchy here, and we're going to talk about how to improve the game process in NGS. So, let's get to it though. Be very easily solved. But what would you guys do in my position? What do you think would be the best way of dealing with this situation? So with that being he's saying, I'm going to give my opinion what I think and also ideas and if we agree or disagree I'm gonna do it like how I normally do it a conversation with him but you know watching his video so let's see if we agree or not that is fine so let's get started and it forces me almost into a situation where I over explain or explain things ahead of time, um, basically trying to That's deal fine. With the probability of someone having a reaction a specific way. So uh, you don't need to worry about people's reaction. You just need to worry about making videos content. But I probably already did explain it in your comic section. But yeah. And I'm kind of doing that right now, and I have to stop myself. That's all right. Perspective, so I'm trying to do my best to explain it. Um, I might it can be understood. Uh, it's a I might move th certain topics forward because as of now, like he said, he's probably uh, doing his normal thing, which is fine. I don't know how else to explain that one for the game. It's fine. So it's a very important distinction to make when you talk about video games as a content creator in general, or even if you're talking True. on a large scale, because you can't look at something from the perspective of what you just want as a player. If, I mean, that is very true because of like his uh, perspective into things and how I see things as well we sometimes have to view what other um, player base or community as a whole and that broad aspect so to minimize those problems or situation we have to think of it as general therefore we have to look at each and every day how people uh, what's the topic of NGS as a whole any social media I should say that would generalize our idea even further and not just mine or his. Everyone is in one sync in mind that we're syncing our minds together that this is how it should be. But is Sega gonna do it? We don't know. It would be nice, you know, like he's saying, or he's going to say, that everyone in general would be able to, of uh, being cohesive. You, you can, yes, but then if you are surprised that things aren't going your specific way, you have to understand that the games are not made just for you, they're made for a larger audience. That is true. For players who want a game to be a specific thing for them, unless you're a part of a large conglomerate of players, it's going to be a situation where you're likely going to be looking at it from your own perspective and not for you know the health of the game. And if you're looking at it from the perspective of like a ton of people... Health of the game... Um, in that aspect or that mentality, that is not our job. That is not any content creator's job, not player base or the community, uh, anybody involved in social media. That's not of our job whatsoever. No one's job. That, that job of the health of the game. That's the job for Sega and NGS developer team. Not ours. His state of mind as of now, I disagree. But, you know, to each their own of the way they're thinking. I'm not trying to um, please or saying that he is wrong or right. I'm not saying that it's and that point on it's his opinion and 
you know, I could say, yeah, you know, okay, that is your opinion. But as general of the player base, I don't think that is the case that we should be pleasing Sega. Sega should be pleasing us. But also, we have to think of it, probably thinking of um, business-wise. Why should we think of business-wise? They, Sega themselves, and GS should be thinking like that. It's not in our um, door. It's in a PSO2 and NGS. It's not... Um, we don't have a share. We don't have the rights of the game. They have the rights. They could easily just take it away, take it out of the, um, you know, turn off the servers down. Of the, you know, health of the game, so to speak. Uh, that's a wrong mentality in my opinion but you know to each their own I'm not saying he's wrong or right I'm just saying that process of mindset that is completely wrong maybe he's trying to say something else maybe he's mis I'm misunderstanding things which is fine I'll let it go for we can move past it and go forward now let's go agree with me and I will To each their own on that. that. This in no way is saying that you guys have to play the way that I'm telling you have to play. Everyone that has is fair. Ways of enjoying games, and if you personally I do agree. Not infringe on anyone else's enjoyment of the game itself. Right. What you're doing is totally about. Maybe you're. But, like you said, infringing. Uh, let's see what else. This is an example. Someone who just plays the story, does creative spaces, hangs out with their friends, and plays Line Strike or something. Well, it doesn't really matter what you choose, you choose to do in the game itself. As far as gearing is concerned, it doesn't really play a part with anyone else's, like, enjoyment of the game itself, right? If you're playing with just your friends, maybe, and they're totally fine with it, then you're not hurting anyone else's enjoyment of the game. Okay, infringing and the joining, joining enjoyment of other players' game. This begs the differ. That the himself and I we will disagree on this and maybe others or others will back him up or no not back him up others will have the same mindset of things my experience of the community in NGS and also discord and other social medias and you know the game itself. Um, what I've seen in certain videos, other videos, not just, you know, Karopis or Chrono, not just content creators themselves, okay? Because I'm one. Gamers as a whole, in general, they will have this mentality of you need to please me and you have to please others. That is the wrong uh, way of thinking of things. I'm not playing for anybody else. Neither is Kronos playing for me or the community or players, gamers themselves. I'm not playing for them. They're not playing for me. It's like me, myself, and I playing for me. He's playing for himself, or another content creator's playing for themselves. Other gamers are playing for themselves. Depending on what are they ta uh, talking about, or the hidden meaning behind it, because it could be there's two meanings, or a hidden meaning of uh, the way of they're saying things. M other content creators or other players or the community themselves 
so going deep diving into that broad range of thinking is that if I'm playing for myself and my battle power is like this I'm maxed out as the current level right now but why do I need to please someone like if I'm farming and I stayed oh I'll be back uh, like I'm in sector zone let's say for an example and oh I'll be back and be AFK they come to me to my character reporting where is the you know kumbaya where is that uh, player and player bros why you're reporting if you're thinking I'm hurting the game he's hurting the community hey. the player base hurting the game right this character that is walking that he came close to me and then he walked away where is the brotherhood or the sisterhood of gamers so to speak if I'm hurting his game because I'm here or getting to the point that where he's walking or this character's walking to block it where is that brotherhood or the sisterhood why are you coming here and doing some mischievous act towards me I didn't do nothing wrong toward you just because of that saying that we have to work together we have to you have to improve your battle power and you need to use how to use your weapons or if not like other uh, players have said why you're here while you're playing this game might as well if you're thinking like this get it get the hell out that's not the way it should be or concept creators um, pushing that mentality or that mindset of things or you know the community or Sega as a whole it's just you know I disagree there but he might uh, I might be overthinking right let's see what else he said it's when you start playing with others you're you know going into urgent quests you're going into a lot of different content and things like that that's when you know what you do when it comes to gearing does affect others around you so it's an important conversation. it shouldn't defect others it shouldn't defect others because they're not playing for you because where is like um in destiny you have to have your level cap in a certain um, raid. You have to have a level requirements. Therefore, for an example, um, here in Ruins, the enemy's level 9. Does this say what level? Or better yet, here, limit time quest. No, that's the Mars. Let's see. Okay, for this, for an example, your required level to be in, um, oh, what is this zone? Lasile. You have to be 3,960. That is your requirement level. If you get any h higher, you know, kudos for you. And also Nameless City. You ha your required level to be 3,960. Required level. Any further than that, you know, if you want to play dual quest, there's your requirement level. Um, triggers. If you or friends need help to level up, your character or you're leveling up theirs this is the requirement level and oops sector zones I don't see the requirement level 
Um, let's see. If I take... Oh, better yet. Um, let's put this... Am I under level to see the level requirement? No, I still can. Well, anyways, I'm not gonna mess with that. <laughs> but the requirement level probably is to get into a sector zone of that level. You have to be over 3,000. So that is all you're required for. And since I'm 4,018 to play any other more of, oh, let's see if it shows me here. Time quest, okay, lower land. My required level is 4,000. I'm not eligible to get in here. But what is the issue of pleasing anybody else to have that level? I don't want to. That's, you know, my choice. Like he said in the beginning, everyone's different. You choose whether you want to um, take his word for it or not on what you want to do because but he's contradicting himself on saying this that is my opinion and aspect of things that is um you know veterans and pro players that is hardcore maybe he's not hardcore but you know i'm not putting words in his mouth I'm just giving it in general of maybe other people are thinking like that. He also said and explained that he did it multiple times and he might rephrase it different. But as is, as of now, I disagree on that. Let's move on. Conversation topic to have to understand from the perspective of that, yes, this, this does affect others around you. While you it shouldn't. think it doesn't matter very much, it it shouldn't matter because why should I please or to those people in whatever and that's important to understand too you can disagree with it that's totally fine but Fair. that's the reality of the situation you're looking at when you play an MMO if that's something that you personally don't want to deal with then and no because well hold on that's when people usually recommend playing single player games or um, just see that's the wrong mentality of um, how he's explaining it and how he's thinking it and wording it because that's why other players are recommending you to play single player or other games because pretty much they want it uh, MMO or RPG games for themselves so in my aspect or my way of thinking or to you know Put a, put a thorn on their side is that I'm going to keep playing what I'm playing regardless of what you're thinking or other players thinking I'm saying it as general I'm not saying that to him no don't think that I'm saying it as general because I've had a few battles against other players in NGS saying that and maybe another content creator that I won't mention that he said the same thing to another um, player and that wasn't right to me that wasn't fair that wasn't right that wasn't just it's like um, dr driving alright just because you have a license and you're able to drive doesn't mean you could go a hundred miles per hour or doesn't mean you have to drive so slow as molasses no or drinking and driving no and 
using it as, you know, doing illegal or illegal stuff that I shouldn't say. And that's the same mentality as, okay, you do what you do. Or this is how it's going to be. And you have to take it as this. If you don't like it, go somewhere else. It's like the gangsters. They're trying to get paid. And they're, you know, in their spot, in their zone. You come across them, they're like, hold up. And they probably show their weapon, right? And they're like, okay, I'll let you pass, but you have to pay up. And you're saying what for? For protection. And you do as I say and do what I do. And if you don't follow, you're going to get capped. So that's what, you know, gangsters and all those. And probably when you see in videos and movies, that's what most of the majority might say. So that aspect and that train of thought of mind why please everyone else you just need to please please yourself and if you want to build um if you want to use the weapons that you like go right ahead knock yourself out like he stated the majority may think it's just um outfits the end game it's not weapons. It's not like Destiny. You know, the end game is finishing the content, the story mission, and getting the rewards, completing the story missions. And, you know, the journey of the game. Here, it's like you're here. The end game is look how pretty I am. And, you know, looking all fly and whatever crap it's not gear cause like I said in my previous video or my friends I'm not gonna uh, waste improving my um, armor or weapons as of now if I got it cool if not oh well I'm my goal my personal goal is something else in this game. Till we hit the threshold of a hundred, then you might see my attitude change a slightly or different. But till then, there is no point. Because at the end of the day, we're going to keep getting new weapons, new armor. And they probably the people that it's beginning or joining in, they're going to get their uh, bumped up their free weapons, armor. So I'm going to take in on that too if I can. If not, I'm going to wait till something drops. Switch will get into a hard code mo hardcore mode. Sorry. I'm butchering it and get into a my meta aspect of the game how it should be but that'll be you know later on but uh, let's see i'm probably talking too much it's multiplayer in general with people that you personally decide to play with that's kind of that, that overall thought process um not to say that i personally agree with it but that's the thought process that exists for live service slash mmos in general but I digress. Mm. How does that work into this? Yeah. That's good when he digressed. Because it's in general, yeah, why promote it? You know? Why say it? Why give them the acknowledgments? Just, you know, be better for yourself. Be better for others if they want to. It's, you know, I'm not going to tell anybody to do this or do that I can say this is how it is and you can take it how you want it and if you want any opinions or recommendation you know there it is 
But anyways. Situation we're currently talking about. The PSO2 has a bit of a problem when it comes to gearing. And one thing to understand yes. about PSO2's gearing is it is probably the most convoluted out of all MMOs that are currently on the market right now. Fair. And you're probably thinking it's not that difficult, and you're right, it's not. Once you understand it, it's not super difficult to understand, but you have to put some. You, you do have to put some effort into understanding it, and you also have to understand that there's a lot more to it than other games actually have. A piece of gear in PSO2 is nothing until it goes through all of the systems. You can buy a Wingard off the market if you. Um. Let's see. Effort into understanding it, and you also have to understand that. There's a lot more to it than other games actually have. Yes and no. Because you have to... The main focus for the majority of players is the oops, player market. In the player market, people want you to buy their product which is not end game or the result that you should go in to it or mid max your way into things. I'm going to leave it at that. But it's how you want to play the game. If you want to play casually, taking your sweet time, do what you want to do, but also if you have friends, just do what you need to do to progress and have fun because in the end of the day you're playing this game for you you're not playing the game for anyone else if you're playing hardcore or mid maxing you have to do it for you don't please others that's the wrong way of thinking if you want to you know that's another thing that's, you know, your persona and your mindset of things, your way of thinking. But you shouldn't be enforced or get enforced by other players. And they're saying you have to do this, you have to please everyone around you, regardless. They're saying, it's MMO style or multiplayer style. That is wrong way of thinking. It's that mentality is whatever game that you're playing that involves multiple players. PvE or PvP or co-op. Regardless of the category of whatever game that you're playing. It's like myself. I'm play Call of Duty I play multiplayer I'm there to enjoy and just relax regardless how the society and how everyone looks into things they're like this is the meta yeah but I'm playing how I want to play I don't give a damn about meta the meta for people in NGS is that way of mentality hit um join us or go home you know or get into something else no I'm just gonna push you away and do what I do and also you know give that person a bird but you know that's my aggressive nature but if that person's nice about it and say, hey, this ain't for you, play something else. That's pretty much in a nicer way, but saying the same thing, they're giving you the bird. Go play something else. Not aggressively, but, you know, kind of nicely or so-called nice toxicity. That is a thing. There's nice toxicity, positive in a positive way. They're trying to make it all cool or nice and make it, you know, refined. That they're hinting you what you need to do. They're telling you what to do. 
in a nicer gesture. But pretty much they're giving you the bird and saying, get out or do something else. For me, I don't care. But yeah. Piece of gear in PSO2 is nothing until it goes through all of the systems. You can buy a Wingard off the market if you want to say it's been 40 mil on or something like that, whatever. That base Wingard is nothing. I can take a base weapon and upgrade sure. and set it all up, and it would absolutely crush that Wingard. Um, and it could be a one star weapon. That's something to keep in mind is that gear does not just stand on its own. It that is true. Because only if you want to be a mid maxer or hardcore. You're going to deck out your armor and your weapons and get the right weapon and increase it to the max or the maximum, not mid maxing or mid maxing, depending on what your gold is. But enough of mid maxing because that's going to be other video that I'm trying to set myself and improve on it but yeah that it all depending on the people the majority how you view things who you citing and what you think of the process down the line of the community or the developer team as a whole and you know content creators it's they're influencing on certain wrong aspect of things sometimes or you know they might need to say it or they have a contract if they have a contract with sega if not then you know why it has to go through all the systems upgrading it unlocking potential adding augments all those things are important to make gear have the power that it has and all the yes. systems interact with one and common no. denominator Masetta. Masetta is involved in everything and it is the primary currency that's used for the game itself and the reason why that's an issue is because it's the primary currency that's used for a lot of things in the game itself i and agree Masetta is a big part of it Seeing as but also before he continue yeah everything involves in Masetta arm weapons armor um skins camos um everything else but also what involves the majority except Masetta it's all these tickets all these tickets and voucher it's um minimizing your progress even further like if you want to transfer it's a progress that it's so rare that you can't you have very little I have 23 when see I don't play that much in the game I have 23 Imagine Chrono or Kuropi. They have to grind themselves whatever, how much time they play this game and ha they won't have a voucher anymore. They will have the ticket. Maybe one or two. But, or a little bit more. I'm was still working my way to get one ticket the tickets and vouchers and things like that is not necessary in this game but also they could change how it works but before i get into you know the juicy stuff purchase things off or you can you know of course spend real money to get ac to scratch to get items and then sell them on the market the set is what players are paying for it people always okay. have and this isn't just in PSO2 this is in MMOs in general people will always tell you faction is the end game uh, fashion over function and if you have not to, all be able to decide between those two things 
in most cases they're going to lead more in the fashion the fashion line now granted everyone has like their own thresholds i personally have mine where i first have to look in a way that i find that is you know decent that is passable then i put everything else into my gearing and once that's done i go back into fashion to look awesome like look amazing over the top whatever right like it's it's a barometer back and forth and it's different for everyone everyone has their own cutoffs for it some people go very hard in one direction others go very hard in the other um and it, there's no right or wrong way to do that process it's up to the player individually i so agree it's almost pointless to have the argument that people have to do one thing versus another because they quite literally just won't it's not something that'll ever happen but in that in mind he controversy himself by saying that he did it twice But, um, you know, to each their own and how they, anybody wants to see certain aspect of the game. But, yeah. Everyone's different in this sort of regard. I agree. So, the issue is, is that the currency is shared across those two things. And that currency needs to change. I'm mm. not saying remove hmm. the currency, I'm saying change the currency. The problem we had is that Masetta is used for all these things. What if it wasn't? What if it was a different currency altogether? That's my proposal, is we have a currency that's used in place of Masetta for a lot of these things, for the upgrade paths. Now, granted, we do still use some currency, right? We use some materials, but the currency is the issue. I do agree. I don't think it's... um. A lot of things that it is involved Masetta and AC. SG not so much. This is why I explain in the past videos that I have. If you want to go through it, be my guest. But I did mention that they need to change or improve the currency. And to do that. I mentioned Bliss Unleash. It's not uh, active as of now because the servers are down. That game is non-existent. If you have the physical copy. If there was. But there are other games that's not MMO but it can be MMO or um, like Genshin Impact for an example how they refine your weapon and improve it with um, si I believe it's sigils I forgot the uh, what they use but that and also it doesn't need to be currency they need to fix the currency issue, but also um, augments needs improvement. Make it work better than how it is now. Also, the materials themselves needs an overhaul. What I mean by that is, let's go enhancement lab. And before we go to the enhancement lab my idea is rechange I've explained it before item shot staff it's not necessary in this game anymore we don't need it they need to change how it works here because um in bliss unleash you have the enhancement shop, upgrade shop, and you have um, consumable shop. I think it's consumable or it's in one shop. I can't recall. But in this game, since this has a little bit of everything in the player market, why not? have this one just fully 
cosmetics or of consumables and <clears throat> um, a trading they could add here they could add um, trading player with player or player w um, becoming the vendors players can become the vendors here it will be another separate market that is concentrated on SG because since we have Meseta why not a market that is SG and another type of um, in-game currency I'll leave it alone as as that for it could soak right into mine but going back to the enhancement lab what we need like um to progress for weapons can progress in armors we need a material that you could all the materials needs an overhaul you should be able to refine and upgrade materials in order to slap it on to your weapons and improve it it's kind of like um blacksmithing in order they improve your weapon or upgrade your weapon or enhancing they need a material to upgrade it and a little cost because cost won't hurt you as much when you you need to get a hold of certain excuse me certain materials or the materials that we have and refine it and enhance it it's like how we are doing with the prim swords too put it in here as a capsule and then people are looking for how to improve the quality of the prim sword so they're pretty much refining the prim, uh, prim sword as make it to level cap to 90 and with just prim sword materials and prim armor once you refine it and get it to max how you want it then you you know it would bump up your quality of your weapon this is the same idea for um, materials maybe I'm not explaining it well but what if you could refine it like the Dark prim swords and if you refined it enough or and you mix let's say this and with that or better yet the hex and then you mix it with a dual might or in this one it creates a new material and with those materials as you keep creating those materials you're able to uh, kind of use it as armor refiner one and two but better and better than prim swords armor or weapon that now once you made this material with the materials that you made because they're going to be different kinds of materials on its own when you're creating mix and matching and once you create it now you have to make more of that of a recipe you have to make more 
and you had to go farm or grind for you could make those materials to enhance your weapon or limit break and also uh, potential unlocking and if you want multi weaponing and uh, I still can't recall how to use this but with all that in mind that material will be the new way to improve our gear our armor and things like that but let's see it's just an idea currency that we could get could be something that isn't a setup maybe it's something we get doing our dailies maybe it's something we get while doing urgent quests while queuing for content maybe it's something that has already existed as a system that's right we're in final fantasy 14 and they already do this in 14 there's a currency called tombstones and tombstones are provided to you for doing basically anything in game beta more or less now granted it's more complicated than that i'm not gonna get into nuances because we'll be here all freaking day but essentially as you do content in final fantasy 14 they give you tombstones and those tombstones are used for purchasing your gear now yes there are points where you can transfer these tombstones into gil which is their currency um but the primary focus i agree to that is the gearing process and it is leveled towards that um as it comes out so like that is why i said as of now since we we are not level 100 we are 90 for now we're going to in this year we're going to be 95 next year we're going to be 100 and going forward that in mind we should transition how to we how we use them as seta in the first place how do we upgrade how do we refine or enhance our weapons and armor and also um, augments how can we improve augments altogether because yeah if you're able to create a certain augment or improve augment itself you should be allowed to buy and sell or to trade it that would give a new fresh air of the game itself because he even stated that we need to find a mid ground fair that can please uh, casual players and hardcore base but also we have to keep in mind there is a different majority that's mid maxing so all that intuition and that state of mindset um, Sega needs to change the way how augment works because augment is like if you seen my other video of where I introduce uh, modern warfare and com trying to compare the weapons uh, how for um, Sega and NGS can improve their weapons by doing something like that because as of now the weapon system or the equipment itself it's hurting the game like I said again uh, saying again the equipment is hurting the game augments as well is hurting the game in one way shape or form or another the currency it's hurting the game how they're manipulating and how they're using it for everything else and monopolize things in state of game SG is not really a currency but it is a currency because you hardly people hardly use it 
or people are using it. But at my stake, I hardly use it because I'm not gonna scratch for anything else. I'm not gonna use for supporting, uh, getting supporting materials. Maybe other players or other content creators. But in this aspect of the game right now, a lot of things are hurting because one, Sega slow as molasses. Two, everything, it's unbalanced. Even how you use your weapon. Mars system, it's another unbalanced system, including our main and subclass and multi weapon. It's unbalanced. With a lot of unbalance, a negative and a negative makes what? A positive. But if there's a negative and a positive, turns into a positive effect not a negative effect a, po a positive effect but there is no positive effects even though there are certain ups and downs in the um, content what Sega give us or release there's a up and down thing there's no going up, 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 or down. Because they're not moving two step forward and one step back. No, it's a couple feet back and two steps forward. So a couple feet, it's a whole lot. Like I said before, this game is like an onion. It has a lot of layers, a lot of bugs, a lot of bypassing a lot of glitches a lot of pro uh, a lot of cons than pros how in the hell is this game staying alive for this long there's a lot of other people besides me that's not even playing this game anymore they even saying that how this MMO is still alive they're in the strand of hair but you know, I digress on that. Yeah, the current high-end tombstone is heliometry. I haven't been playing recently, as you can see, um, so I don't have anything towards my weekly progress on this right now. But heliometry is used to get currently the higher tier gear in the game, not the absolute best, but it goes towards getting the best gear in the game, and it is part of the primary upgrade path for you. And that is all that it's used for. Nothing else. You're not trading this in for money. Not trading this in you're not deciding on using this for fashion versus anything else i mean you can make the argument that you pick a certain piece of gear because of the fashion whatever but that's not the point this only goes towards that and it's decoupled from gill and that's not to say that gill is completely useless you know people like to say in 14 that gill is completely pointless and it's not used for anything but if that were the case then we would all be billionaires and no one would be chasing gill nearly as much gill is still useful um you still do use it for things in game but it is not the primary currency used while upgrading your gear in 14 however you have to keep in mind that their gearing system is much simpler than final Fantasy, or than on pso2 I agree. Their gear, you pick up a weapon it has most of its stats already there it's already item level 700 it's already level 100 you know it's already got most of the stuff the only thing you're adding to it is like materia which is and also the other thing when he said um the outfit has stats why sega's not doing that we can have outfits oh that has stats and we can have outfits, you know, just to show and tell as how we have our outfits as of now. It's pretty much just show and tell. Why don't we have outfits that has status effect for when we go into battle, we need to gear up. Hmm. Destiny, I've mentioned borderlands and division other uh, type of games i have mentioned before and he's mentioning it now we have that you know same thought process but he sometimes explained it better kind of like our odd 
movements, except on a much lower scale. Um, most of the power comes from the weapon itself, and then you know, the material yes. gives it a little bit of an extra oomph. Mm -hmm. on top of that I agree. Well. So their system's a bit different. It's not as convoluted. It doesn't have as many customization. And it's worth mentioning that, like, PSO2... Oh, on that note, that's how you make a positive and negative equals a positive effect. Because if Sega brings outfits that has status and you're grinding and farming for them to find what kind of playstyle you want like tank um, you know how slayers like agile things like that or you just focus on those broad of attacks crits and you know DPS the broad range of people are thinking DPS attack crit weak point things like that you know, they have to bring those back for you know as outfits not as the player uh, your character customization not that or the outfits that we have now no they need to bring a new game into the mix that um, 